Star 5 Live. I'm Bobby T. And I'm Martin. And today we are going over this week's toy hauls. Yeah, um, I forgot my green shirt. I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't worry. There's green spots on here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the background is going to be the weirdest stuff. Hashtag 5 Alive Martin's green shirt. We are going to start opening some figures. Martin has some blind bags. I have some stuff that I grabbed this week. Uh, random stuff that I grabbed and you know, just didn't bring in for yeah. whatever the reason may have been. So let's start opening. What do you got? This what? is all a uh, one-day haul. Uh, this, uh, my fir the first thing I found, and I was so happy to find it, is uh, Marvel Legends Captain Britain. Uh, it's the Captain Britain from uh, Captain Britain in the MI-13 uh, series. One of my all-time favorite series. Uh, anything ever written in comic books uh, written by Paul Cornell who wrote some Doctor Who it is just an, an amazing maybe so, self-contained series of three traits cannot recommend it enough Doctor Who yes what else did you get Martin I also got this <laughs> cupcake keepsakes of Doctor Who's can we open that up or yes. leave that box I, yeah. gotta, I gotta see this thing so uh, let's get that on the spinner yeah so this is Doctor Who's, for those who don't know, is the Doctor Who equivalent oh, from wow. I didn't know it came My Little like that Pony. Little base. Comes That's in a little cool. base because you take it off the base. Oh, I can't even open it, yeah. This is the time you just... And that was the hashtag 5 Alive Bobby T got elbowed in the face <laughs> by Martin. <laughs> yeah, but um, basically in to it's a cupcake head, and in the cupcake head are accessories to put on a real cupcake to turn your real cupcake into Doctor Who. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, I love it's that. craziness. And I got it for two fifty uh, at um, at uh, Five Below. I wouldn't have bought it uh, if it wasn't two fifty. Mm -hmm. But it's, Five Below it's, actually has yeah. some really good stuff. We were recently talking about that. Um, in the past, I working got, with uh, different companies, I've I've done some closeout stuff to them mm -hmm. and made stuff specifically for them. Um, I love their concept. Everything five bucks or cheaper. Yep. Um, there, I've worn a few of their t-shirts on the show. Uh, but this is a very good example of where you can get some really cool stuff. They also have, which we just talked about, uh, Lego Dimensions figures. They do have uh, some Lego Dimension sets I've seen there. Little exclusive also, $5 yeah. packs. Um, and uh, I don't think they're exclusive. I, I think they're I just old. Yeah, else. I think they're I think they're old. Um, okay. And they're from first run, and they're just, you know, closeouts. But my, still, you don't my, see those anywhere else for five bucks. My niece for Christmas um, bought me the uh, Gimli. Mm -hmm. it's a, and that's, it's and a that's Gimli one pack. of them that's, that's there now. Um, you'll also see uh, figures. They have uh, uh, the Captain Britain there. They had uh, a couple WWE uh, basic figures, Tyler Breeze and uh, a couple other uh, people. I've seen them have so, G.I. Joe in the past. Yep, there, uh, yeah, been so some really they random do have, stuff. Uh, so. Yeah, they have a cool little uh, There's choice Star Wars there. stuff there right now, too. Yep, actually. and they, yeah, they have a ton shirts. of Star Wars stuff, too. Uh, not just the shirts, but also Star Wars mm -hmm. toys. And, yeah. yeah. So One of the shirts uh, I got was the Empire Strikes Back in the classic Marvel style. It's got a lot of Boba Fett and mm -hmm. the Bounty Hunters on yeah. it. So for $5. Uh, de yeah, definitely check them out. Uh, it, it is one of my favorite places. Right, what else we got for bags? So we found I found a bunch of different blind bags. I found these at GameStop. Um, oh, uh, before that, uh, oh, at Rite Aid, I got this uh, Mopey or Walgreens. I got this Mopies for ninety cents. Yeah, they had um, a great deal. They were yep. also doing the uh, the Walking Dead ones. Were also yep. on the sale. Um, and uh, really cool little plush uh, oh. Iron Man for ninety cents. So that's good cool. pull. First I, thing I pull here. Oh, this is. You know, this is that same brand that did the Steven Universe figures that Chris and I had looked at, um, where it has the stand and then a little tiny piece you pop into the back here. Uh, uh, yeah, I dropped my piece. Regardless, um, I got these at... Oh, I got uh, the actual One Punch Man. Uh, I did the same thing. Uh, this mm -hmm. one, it looks like a, uh, an evil version of him. Oh, nice, yeah. So, um, Cool. That uh, I got these at GameStop. They were a, a buck fifty a piece. So I grabbed three of them because why the hell not? Uh, let's see what the third one is. Uh, another One Punch Man. They're you know as most things where it's uh, one character centric. It uh, there's a lot of that one character in the uh, in the run. But is that a double of the one that we just had? Nope, this is a completely different one. He's kind oh, of oh, uh, he's got like a uh, battle yeah, going. Battle uh, battle pose going. Really oh, cool. we've seen and these like before said, here. It was a dollar fifty. Uh, yep, I got these at Walgreens. A couple Transformers, Tiny Titans, these little guys. They come these are cool. They come card. with the card. I, I like the card, too. It's a good, thick card. Oh, I got the Unicron. And I got Crazy Bolt, a uh, little Jaguar type thing. Oh, it's really cool. I like that one, actually. 
That Unicron was cool. Yeah, we got we've gotten him before. Um, so got... with a lot of the stuff that we're getting doubles of, uh, we will be giving that stuff away in our 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, along with, if you use hashtag Five Live Toy Picks, you will end up uh, being basically entered into a drawing at our 100th uh, subscriber, and we're giving away a package for that also. Nice. Uh, I found these at AC Moore of all places. Hub Snaps. They're called Hub Snaps. They're uh, Marvel. I don't know what the heck they are, but they were 50 cents, so really. Flick them, flick them, stick them. It uh, comes with a collector card with uh, a list of what is there. Oh. And it looks like it's just a piece of metal. Which card did you get? I got um, Captain America. I got Ant Man. Oh, they're different cards yep. too. That's really cool. Um, it's a metal cap. Um, has a, you know a, a character printed on it. This one has Ant Man. This one has Black Bolt. Uh, and they're really uh, I cool. Got they got Spider Man and Deadpool. Yeah, and they're little clicky, uh, clicky things. I guess little. I guess little mini. Yeah. Uh, Fidget spinners, effectively, just low tech fidget yep. spinners. And uh, for fifty cents, it has a nice little. Uh, I like the card. Uh, yeah, nice art on it. So, definitely cool. Like I said, it was fifty cents. And the, finally, the last thing is this uh, egg. It was a Tomy oh, egg, uh, uh, celebrating Nintendo's uh, years in the industry by doing small keychains of. Old school Nintendo controllers. Oh, awesome! That's awesome. So this is a Super Famicom, uh, Japanese version of the uh, Super NES uh, controller. We were so very, afraid very it was cool going to be looking. a Wii remote. I was, I was truly terrified of that. But, uh, oh, wow! I can get that is that. awesome. So those are those. Um, I that was the only I would one enjoy I could that find for upwards of several dollars. Yeah. That was the only one. I, that was the only one I could find. It was uh, three fifty, but definitely worth it. It's uh, quality construction, and uh, makes a nice little keychain. All right, so uh, we'll go on to some of the stuff that I grabbed. And like I said, this is a little bit of a mixed haul. Some things uh, from the past that... Oh, got some yeah. things are coming out. Oh, that is awesome. Yep. Got things coming out of the woodwork here in the box. <laughs> so these are a few things I've grabbed over the last couple weeks that, um, for whatever reason, I didn't put up on the show or, or whatever it happened. Uh, mixed with some things that I recently picked up. Uh, the first two are going to be at Target. Pick these up at five bucks a piece. Uh, Chris had picked me up the White Ranger version, which was the NYCC exclusive. I uh, picked up the Black Ranger at five dollars. Oh, San Diego. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting San Diego from the other side of the camera. Um, so I was at Target at five bucks a piece. I got the red and yellow. Now I just got to grab the other three, uh, which I guess pink, blue, and green. I found those on Amazon for ten a piece. So hopefully I can get them maybe loose. Uh, despite the fact that I, I kind of measured them out and I can line them up like this and then put my other Rangers on top for a really good display inside of the case. So may have to kind of play around with that. Um, give away the green Ranger. <laughs> so um, this was at uh, GameStop in their clearance for $2.97. It is a K2SO magnet. Um, yeah. It's huge. It I don't really know. Huge. I think... All of its uh, ability to stick to a refrigerator is going to be taken up by the weight of the actual product. Yeah, it seems heavy. Oh, dude, it really is. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. yeah, like it just thudded <laughs> onto the table. Wow, this has got some weight. To feel that. Wow. Yeah, that's... that's that uh, is the murder weapon right there. Yeah, that's... That's exhibit A. <laughs> that is going to hold your wife's disappointments against a refrigerator. Jeez, <laughs> Louise. Yeah, that's a bit much. So, uh, at the infamous tag sale... Up at Jesse's house, we picked up a All couple right. things. Uh, this I still don't know exactly what it is. I didn't put enough Some research sort of, into uh, it. But it is a Robotech figure. Um, it's a vinyl figure, so it doesn't uh, transform or anything. But I saw it. he had it on a table. He said he was so disappointed in it that I got it from him for a dollar. Uh, I got a broken jet fire. He's missing a piece of the nose. So if anybody's got the nose, maybe uh, help a brother out. Maybe send it over to the good dude Bobby T over at uh, Five Left. Just need the, I guess, the left side. I don't know where the hell I would find that. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, exactly. Um, got to check out, we're talking about Marvel Legends, mm -hmm. the Frank Castle um, Punisher figure from Daredevil. These have hit a, at a lot of places, but specifically Walgreens has been really good lately. Mm -hmm. uh, Walgreens with the Legends and stuff. So um, in this line also was Jessica Jones. Uh, the Bill of Figures Man thing. You've got Daredevil, Elektra, Jessica Jones, Blade, and the Bullseye, which is beautiful. Looks like Frank Miller's version of Bullseye. So, what else do we got in the box? 
Uh, we already looked at that. Uh, oh, some more, oh, good more caps. Guys. They, you bought a lot of those yeah, caps, yeah. huh? Well, they were you only did. 50 cents, so I, I bought a So uh, I, I did open this ahead of time. It is from the Loot Wear, um, from, from Loot Crate. Uh, I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. It's the exclusive Alien Woven shirt. Uh, it's basically the crew uniform. It's got the Nostromo patch on it. The logo for the Nostromo, the, the Space Trucker crew. Uh, this was awesome. $14.99 a month. This was damn near nothing for what I got here. I might end up getting the For Her, which is a engineering uh, shirt from Star Trek, which my wife would absolutely love. Um, so, grabbed a couple really weird uh, VHS tapes. It was that a Salvation Army Goodwills and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, here are three kind of the highlights. Grab Blade Runner. A nice. very good condition version of Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the many versions of who knows which one yeah. we'll be watching. Um, an Exo Squad tape. <laughs> oh my god. I love that show. And so this one, I was like, awesome, G.I. Joe on VHS. So I grabbed it, and as I'm uh, checking out, I look down and go, oh, <laughs> La Isla Infestada. This it's is, in Spanish. This is G.I. Jose. This is fully in Spanish. That's so funny. I had to get it. It just had to, had to, had to have that. So, um, oh, uh-oh. I got these a long time ago, and we never got to open them up. So these bad. are Tech World cards <laughs> from William Shatner's Tech World. William Shatner's Tech World, for those youngins out there, was an ill-conceived book that he then turned into an ill-conceived series that, for some reason, was super popular. And it was banned. It, it got banned in a lot of places. Really? Like the books got banned. Yeah, Why? I remember. Because they were so bad, they got banned. <laughs> so, look, I kind of dig the art a little bit here. I'm not going not gonna to lie. But clearly, like, Shatner wrote himself into the story. Like, it's it's William Shatner's body dysmorphic version of who he is in the sci-fi world as tech world. Um, the other cards are VR Troopers. VR Trooper are, puzzle, puzzle pack. pack. So you, ba you get a five, and you hope that it forms a puzzle, but it does not, and then you cry. Yeah, that, that's like a pack to nowhere. Like, unless you have the full set, you're like, oh, I have the corner of his head. Terrible. That is an awful, awful, awful. <laughs> Terrible. I mean, yeah. those you also the... have the Exo Squad thing where you watch the episode and then you cry because yeah, people die. It. People yeah. die in that. Yeah, show. it's rough, man. It's the best. So um, <laughs> now the we're gonna get to my my favorite three of the week so far. Uh, was at Target. They got their second run of these figures um, early on. They they put these out. Um, the build a figure with a basic, yes. which is kind of weird. Usually you're gonna see a, in uh, most figures. Uh, for WWE, it'll have to be an elite. For Marvel, it's going to be the Marvel Legends style, where you get a nice Build-A-Figure. In this, they did uh, a few things. There's a Topps Collector's card, and a Build-A-Figure wacky, waving, inflatable, tu <laughs> filling tube arm man uh, for oh the Bailey God. Buddies. Um, so that is uh, Andrade Cien Almost, and this is Ty Dillinger, the Perfect Ten. Uh, and these two dudes come with the parts that are go. Oh, that's awesome. 1010. Even better. <laughs> it says on the back his premiere was on uh, October 10th, 2013. So, uh, the 1010. My birthday. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's pro producer Beavis' birthday here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you build these up and you get your Bailey Buddies. Now, the elite figures from this line all came with individual Bailey Buddies. Uh, in this, it tells you on the back who you get. But if you get uh, Sammy and, and uh, KO, you get the yellow one. If you get... Um, Hideo Itami, which I have, and the um, Samoa, Joe. Samoa Joe, you'll get the green one, and then you can have a big Bailey setup. Yep. So, it's a couple of really fun ones. Had to had to uh, put that up on the Instagram, actually. Now for the coolest piece of the week, I think. Here, let's let's clear off a yep. couple of pieces here. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we're all Knights of the Slice fans here. Uh, one mysterious drop out of nowhere was the Yeti drop. I know a lot of people were complaining that the shipping wasn't going as fast as they'd like. Look, whatever. It's an indie figure. Um, they had put up the loose version that came in a bag at 30 bucks, mm -hmm. And then they did a carded version for 35 A lot of people didn't want to take that $5 jump. Take the $5 jump. I'm telling you guys, it, this is so worth it. I may order another one. Um, it is the Yeti Ice Vector Jump Armor by Knights of the Slice and the Yeti uh, collaboration. They even put on the package, it's, it's purposely off-center. Um, they put up in the corner a Weimart 
price tag, which is just like the old the game details arts. on that are amazing. Um, I do like, and I heard someone complain about the online about the uh, drops of glue holding the card on. I like that because it's actually going to pop off a lot easier. I'm framing this card. Yeah. The art on the back of this card is just so amazing. Um, the clear of the figure is so cool, and it puts kind of the goofy Yeti face on there. Um, <clears throat> Beavis the said that he was really, really wanting to play the Metroidvania version of this game. Uh, that clearly this this figure is going to come from, or came from, for that matter. Uh, so definitely check that out. The Yeti, gorgeous. it's thirty five dollars. It is just a gorgeous piece of art. I mean, I, I love this thing. So uh, I think that's been our week here. I think so. Oh wait, and uh, just because I mean I bought this last week, but you showed it TJP, last week. I showed it last nice. week. And I'm going to show it this week, too. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Just TJP. Just, just TJP. Just TJP. So with that, we've been 5 Alive. I'm Bobby T. This is TJP. I'm Martin. We are this the, is TJP. We're the last two TJP fans in the world. Even his, even his family doesn't like him. If you agree with us, disagree with us, let us know. Click like, share, subscribe. Follow us at 5 Alive VP on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. <laughs> He's DJP. So oh, dude, his back is just covered in paint. That's actually pretty terrible. Oh, no. Weird. Oh, oh weird. That's bad. Doesn't matter. He's DJP. <laughs> TJP. Do the plugs, Martin, while TJP is dancing in your ear. <laughs> our hashtags are hashtag TJP. 5 Live. Live every Saturday night and sometimes during the week for our WWE wrap ups. And five, hashtag 5 Live NYCC for all our New York Comic Con coverage. We got a ton of stuff coming up. Exclusive interviews, exclusive purchases. TJP exclusives. All sorts of Exclusive uh, Perkins. Stuff. We're going to go to the restaurant Perkins. Oh my God, can we? <laughs> I want to order a, a whole pie. Uh, when we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to do a prize pack. Give away a lot of the stuff that uh, you see here. Not I'll TJP. Open it up. Uh, probably TJP. Definitely this magnet. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Uh, we're gonna have Although to get rid of that. Although the shipping costs on this match. Yeah, seriously, not even worth it. It won't just, make it through customs. We'll just send you five bucks. Oh crap! All right, so I'm sorry. <laughs> this is one of the awesomest things bought all week, as a matter of fact. Uh -huh. Next to the Yeti here, let me just get this out of here. So um, I found a website called Vinyl Me Please. Once a month, it's twenty nine bucks. You get crazy cool vinyl. Um, in this case, it was Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die. Um, just the phenomenal album and the albums themselves are red and white with this black and just splatter on them. I'm not going to open it. It's going to take too long. We'll do an unwrapping video of this. It's just that. He'll do yes. an unwrapping I'll video. I'll do. Yes. <laughs> Me and TJP. <laughs> uh, make sure you... Oh, God. I think, I think the show's over. Done. I'm just going to kill it. <laughs>